Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another smartphone comparison video. On my left, we have the Blackview A80 Pro, uh, the 6.5 inch phone, really nice satin matte black finish on this device. Really love this design, has a really nice weight to it. LED on uh, notification light, which a lot of phones don't have on the front, which is really cool. Now, we're gonna get into uh, the body of both of these, the phones. We also do have the Umidigi A3X. Now, the build of this device is so solid. Honestly, this is like an iPhone 12 mini. And when I'm feeling it in my hand, it really feels really nice. Every time I touch it now, it's cold because it's winter. Has a really nice frame on it, aluminum frame. Type-C is not on here. We have micro USB, but we do get a headphone jack. Uh, all glass on the back of here really good design on here so let's talk about these phones in a little bit more detail so on the uh blackview a80 pro we are getting a 6.5 inch lcd ips display which is 19 by 59 ratio we get facial recognition on here so it's really quick to unlock we get a 17 by 1560 pixels on here which is cool hd plus uh, 265 pixels on the display so definitely a really nice display on here um, it's definitely a really uh, beautiful panel to look at really bright really colorful uh, you get a water drop notch right at the top as you can see right there so um, the camera is in the front we'll get into that in a little bit more detail but just want to talk about the display right now but you can see it looks really good I have a tempered glass on here to protect the screen because there's no gorilla glass on here but multi-touch as well and uh, you know it does have scratch resistance on the glass so the tempered glass will help for any uh, you know uh, glass uh, damage that you may have now the black view does come in the green red blue and black color um, now it's a really nice weight on here 180 grams now the humidity a3x is actually 186 grams so it's a little bit heavier with that aluminum design now let's talk about the um, display on here and we this does come in gold and gray it also does come in a metal finish which is really premium really really premium 5.7 inches LCD IPS display, um, 19 by 9 aspect ratio on here. So really solid uh, aspect ratio. You can see it looks just like the iPhone. If I didn't turn it around to the back and show you the logo, but um, you could see right here we get a 720 display, which looks beautiful times 1512. So uh, 1512 um, compared to the 1560 on the black view this is going to be a little bit more pixel rich on the black view but this still looks really gorgeous you can't tell them apart to the naked eye hd plus now this is where this the humidity looks really good 294 pixels per inch so a medium density display we're also getting a really medium density display on the um black view but they look really good uh overall you if you're coming from a flagship, you will realize that they are right in that sweet spot. So really nice panels to look at. Um, we also do get a medium sized notch on here. Um, you know, LED notifications are not gonna be on here. You can see when I turn on off the phone, uh, there there is a, a camera right here but the, there is no LED notifications unless you're charging the phone. So let me just show you what I mean right here. So if I put this phone in a charger, you get that LED for that, that it's indicating that it's charging, but it doesn't necessarily give you like notifications for like when you're getting an incoming call or anything like that. Now the buttons right here on the Umidigi A3X, you can see have a really nice click to them really good buttons on here really nice frame on here really nice boxy design uh, one of my favorite designs on a smartphone now on the black view you can see we have a really nice satin 
material. It's like a matte material. One of my other favorite uh, designs, and you do get that LED notification light. Now this is running on Metro by T-Mobile, this one right here, whereas I'm using Cricut on this one right here. So just keep that in mind. We are running two different networks, but they do work really good. Uh, but the designs of these are really nice. I'm a big fan of type C on here fingerprint on the back so let's get into a little bit more detail about what's underneath the hoods on both of these devices now the Blackview A80 Pro is really good for gaming it has 4 gigabytes of RAM uh, 64 gigabytes of internal storage um, it's able to play Dragon Ball Legends it does have a MediaTek Helio P25 processing chip um, with uh, 8 cores Four of them are A53 at 1.4, and the other four are A53 at 2.5 clock speed. So really, really impressive processing speeds on this device. Um, I'm honestly really impressed with the performance. And uh, overall, it, it's going to give you, um, you know, uh, the accelerometer, light sensor, proximity sensor, but it, it won't give you like um, the, uh, you're not going to get the gyroscope or anything of that nature. So just keep that in mind. You won't get that gyroscope on there. But this does have really smooth gameplay overall. And I didn't run into any issues whatsoever when I, when, whenever I was using it. So honestly, um, I was really impressed with the gameplay on the Blackview A80 Pro. Now, when it comes to the performance on the Yuma Digi A3X, we do have the Helio, um, it's a Helio A22. So this is a quad core processing chip. We're also getting three gigabytes of RAM on here, 16 gigabytes of internal storage, but I expanded the storage with a 64 gigabyte SD card. So what's pretty cool is that this will be able to game PUBG Call of Duty Mobile um, Asphalt 9, things of that nature. Now the Blackview does use the Arm Mali T880 MP2 for graphics, but the Yuma Digi uses the IMG Power VR GE Class GPU. So um, the Blackview is getting one extra gigabyte of RAM, and uh, on the Yuma Digi, we're actually getting, you know, the three gigabytes of RAM versus the four on the black view. So you can see right now on the graphics, we're all balanced and uh, let's go to smooth so we can get a better gameplay. And so here we are, you can see, um, there's like people already out here. So that was really close. I almost died. I think I'm going to die because like I really have no gun. And there's no way for me to get one like right now. Hold on. Oh, that was close. Now, this is really crazy. The gameplay on here is actually really smooth. From what I can see, I'm not having any, any issues whatsoever. It's actually really playable on this phone. So that's one of the wonders of Yuma Digi. They give you phones that can play PUBG, Call of Duty Mobile in this price point. So honestly, you know, you won't be um, complaining about the gameplay on here because it's actually really smooth. Someone's behind me, I know it. comes to the sensors in both phones we have a fingerprint um, on both of them we have proximity sensors on both light sensors as well and accelerometers but the Yuma Digi A3X does have a compass and a gyroscope as well so that's something that's kind of cool um, for the Yuma Digi and as far as the cameras we have a 13 megapixel main camera on the black view 
uh, we have a two megapixel for depth and then the other two are just you know like there for design so two megapixel two um a 13 megapixel and a two megapixel on the black view on the Imidigi A3X, we have a 16 megapixel and a 5 megapixel right here on the back. On the front of the Umidigi, we do have an 8 megapixel on the front, right where that wide notch is. And then on the front of the black view, we do have a 8 megapixel on the front of there. So definitely some pretty decent cameras when it comes to the budget entry level price point. Now, when it comes to the cameras as well, I did notice that we do have portrait on the front and back on the Yuma Digi. I did download Gcam on the black view so that I can get portrait mode on this one as well. But we do have bokeh right here for taking shots of objects. Like right here, I could take the bokeh shot of some, of an object and that's from the stock camera. You don't have the option to do bokeh on, the, on your face, but if you download this uh, this camera go right here which is basically the google g cam you have portrait right here on the bottom as well so i, I think that's really cool and um i've been using that for like portraits and stuff so that's pretty much what you would need to know about the cameras they take really good photos for both of these price points and i actually do like both of the cameras on both of these phones a lot all right so i'm gonna just clear the apps on these phones right here and do the same thing with this one so it's doing a deep clean everything is now refreshed well now it's as it would be when you clear all the apps out and then let me just show you i'm downloading geekbench as we speak so there's some background processing here let's open up pandora one two three okay that was the black view uh, first let's close that and then let's go ahead and try out uh, Spotify let me see which one will open up first um, one two three that was the black view so we're gonna try uh, one more, app, a couple, a few more apps. I'm gonna try uh, Play Store right here. One, two, three. Okay, that was the Black View three to one. We're gonna try one more app. A few more, two more apps. Let's try Facebook. One, two, three. Okay, that loaded first on the Black View. We're gonna try Twitter. One, two, three. And that was actually, um, that looked like that was the Umidigi on that one. So let's try, uh, let me do that one more time. Let me try Twitter, one, two, three. Same, same exact time. Let's try Instagram, one, two, three. And that looked like the black view by one slight pinch of a hair. I'm just gonna go ahead like that. And that. Okay guys, so let's take a look at the performance side of things on Geekbench and just kind of give you an idea of what we're looking at here. So really close uh, single core scores from the Geekbench. And as you can see, the quad core is definitely affected when you're getting the, uh, compared to the octa core. We also do have Android 9 on the black view. That's not something that I really care about. If it has Android 9, at least that's pretty good at these times and days but a lot of phones are getting android 10 which is really surprising um but overall both of these phones are really impressive we uh, we have um some really good designs on here so 
I can definitely say that the Yumidigi A3X has, is a really good solid phone for anybody who's looking to make it your primary phone or even backup. And same thing with the A80 Pro, A80 Pro. So um, um, these phones are really underrated if, you, if, if I was to just, you know, just to say the least. But um, they do get facial recognition. You do get fingerprint sensors. You do get you know like that notification light on this one this one has the battery notification light see the fingerprint sensor works perfectly fine i just love this aluminum design on this one and i love this matte finish on this one um the cameras also do work really good in broad daylight and i didn't have any issues with them whatsoever fingerprints worth work really fast as well no complaints here but drop a like Show your support and appreciation as well, and I'll get right back with you later, crew. Peace.